um this board i designed this board just an um, auto start for uh, generator users you understand so uh, we have two release on the board and um the first relay this one is to stop the generator right this one is to start the generator and the starting relay has uh, two now uh, three signals coming out this is a common this is a normally open this is normally closed now this is the normally open this one has going to start the generator while this one is a running wire while this one is a common between them so uh, depending on the model region the installer should not to install it because so that maybe isn't possible to start the generator and isn't possible to run the generator why this one is stopping one so we'll just use these two wires to stop the generator so basically uh, what happens is this we have an input um, voltage for the mains here and an input voltage for the uh, generator here so once the mains is being sensed this relay is going to come on to stop the generator once the gen is being sensed why it's trying to start the generator once it tries to crank the generator and crank the generator once then the generator is on and it sends the voltage of the generator the cranking is going to stop if the um, voltage is not being sensed it's going to crank the generator for four times so i'll just try and show you around it what well, i mean why we use um, a microcontroller chip here yeah, that's a um, 12f683 you know 12f family so um it's just um around the 400 naira or 500 naira depending on where you're buying from so that was just by the way sure so let me just um you know try to demonstrate it to you now this is the input now this is the neutral of my one wire you understand try to you know just to connect to the maze you understand so once it's connected to the maze the gen is going to stop so it's connected to the maze now you can see the energy come on the is on that means the gen has stopped because it's maze so now um, once the mains is out automatically you know the gem starts up so it starts up the second time then the third time if it sends the light you know once the light is on okay let me just show it then that's the fourth time cranking you understand so after cranking the gem for the fourth time if the gem is not on it's gonna stop not to stop the kick um to spoil the kick so I'm gonna do this again. Let me try to sense the mains again. Then can you see? So once the gen is on to so stop the cranking. Can you see? You just crank the gen twice. And now this by the way. So after all said and done, we have this uh, switch here. You know, this one is just uh, the auto on and auto off switch for the automatic, you know, turning on of the gen. So if this switch is you know connected together like this. It's not gonna start the gen automatically. So let's try it again. Um let me try to connect the mains again. Then I've connected the mains. Can you see? The mains is out. The gen is not starting because the switch is connected. So I'll remove the switch now. Then try to crank it again. I'll try to connect the mains again. Can you see? Can you see? One. So once it sends the mains, the generator, it will stop. Can you see? I still crank the generator, but if it doesn't source the generator, it's going to crank the generator four times, and that's all. It's very simple, straightforward, and very easy to use.